Hello. Today, I want to share some tips and tricks for solo travelers. You might be a backpacker, going on an adventure for a week or months, or you might be sent by your company abroad for a mission alone, or you might be moving to a new country for new opportunities. The common point here is that you travel alone, in a foreign environment, and have worries about safety and loneliness, what to do, what not to do. Solo traveling can be one of the best ways to explore all your potential strengths, weaknesses, and options in life. So what about safety? Safety is and has to be the primary concern of travelers, their family, and their friends. The rules to help your safety are basically the same wherever you are, like Do not walk around by yourself by night. Don't wear headphones at nighttime. Check people you meet on social media to see if they are a normal person. Act and walk confidently. If you need directions, ask in a shop or restaurant. Trust yourself, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Make sure you're making your own decisions. The main difference with traveling solo is that you can trust only yourself, at least in the beginning. You cannot leave, for example, your suitcase in the airport while you go to the toilet. Or count on someone to watch over you when you drink too much. But you can blend in a lot better, especially when you don't speak. When you travel alone, you are your best friend. You have to trust yourself and your instincts. You cannot hesitate to say no when you think or even only feel that you might get into any danger. A few tips more specific to traveling. 1. Act like a local. Try to blend in. 2. Dress conservatively. You might not only attract undesired attention, but also offend the local traditions. 3. Be careful with alcohol. Stay in control. 4. Have a list of your emergency contact information. 5. Register with the State Department at, for example, https colon slash slash step dot state dot gov slash step. And a few tips more specific to women. 1. Ask for a room near the elevator so you won't need to walk down long hallways. 2. Skip the Mrs. Slash Miss Slash Mr. Checkbox and use your initials instead of your name. 3. Make sure the clerk writes down your room number instead of saying it aloud. Part 2. Prepare your trip. Your parents might be there to help you plan your trip, book your tickets and lodging, pack your suitcase but you will be on your own when you land. The first hours in a new place are the most stressful. They can be exciting, but most probably stressful. The only way to optimize these first few hours is by preparing. Here are a few tips to prepare. 1. Analyze your budget. Make sure you have enough money to pay for food and entertainment before choosing your lodging. 2. Make sure you have a booking for your lodging. It can be a hotel, a hostel, a dormitory. In any case, choose a place with several good reviews for your safety. And make sure that the hotel will have a reception open at your time of arrival. 3. Make sure that you have enough cash in the local currency to pay for transportation from the airport and a meal. 4. Find out how you will travel from the airport. It is, for me, the most critical. The airport is safe. Your lodging should be safe, if you choose it wisely. The problem is the in-between. Taxis and hotel pickups are, most of the time, very expensive. My favorite solution is services like Uber. Check with your hotel or hostel the name of the local online service. Download their app and set it to English before starting your trip. It also requires an internet connection. For this, I always buy a prepaid mobile card at the airport on arrival. This card will also let you send a message that you arrived well, contact people locally that you might have to meet, the weather forecast, etc. Later, you can use your Uber-like app to move around without the language problem. Another solution like to leave the airport is public transportation when available. It is a bit more complicated and will take more time than an Uber-like but it is undoubtedly the cheapest. 
Part 3, Loneliness People will feel sorry for you, traveling by yourself. You're going to make friends in no time at all. Stay in places known to be social, like hostels or backpackers accommodations. You can and should stay in close contact with your family and older friends. Technology has made the world a lot smaller. But you will also meet new people that will change and enrich your vision of the world. Part 4, Tips to Meet People. Unless you are a hardcore loner, meeting people will change your trip and potentially your life. More than the monuments or the museums, it's the people you meet that will stay with you and change you. But how to meet people? 1. Stay at places that encourage talking. Hostels are known to be more social with similarly open-minded people. 2. Visit the same cafe or restaurant every day. You'll get to know and interact with the people there. 3. Take day tours. 4. Be curious. Ask questions and conversations begin. 5. Smile. A smile shows that you are friendly, open, kind. Smiling can start many conversations. 6. Go far off the beaten path. Travelers in places where there are few tourists are more inclined to talk to each other. 7. Learn a few words in the local language. Making an effort to communicate in the local language is always appreciated and often returned with an effort to communicate in your language. Part 5. What to do. 1. Indulge yourself. Outside of your work, if you travel for business, you can rest when you want and do what you want. Do things you usually wouldn't do with others. Start doing something new like scuba diving, horse riding, or dancing. 2. Take plenty of pictures. And share your pictures with your friends and loved ones on social media. Please let me know if you have more tips or comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to help this channel grow. Bye for now.